Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, you Yo. got something for me today, huh? I do. I do. I do. So apparently, we are under attack, Jonas. Oh my God, from the Libyans? No. Oh, that's that's back to the future joke. That might be, actually. You never know. But honestly, Jonas, we're, we're under attack from Russia. <laughs> Shock, dismay. <laughs> So we, we heard about the stuff that the, the accusations, I should say, the, the allegations flying around about Russian interference in our, our last election, right? Right. I well, heard. I mean, and just in general about everything. Yeah, it seems as like there is a, like a constant attack when it comes to like Russian influence on, the, on, on American Internet or American social media, I should well, say. Well, yeah, they want to um, – I think, I think Russia – it, like the way, like they know that if they attacked the U.S. with like force, mm -hmm. that they would lose. So I think what mm -hmm. they try to do is slyly and covertly attack America by trying to disrupt this democracy via social media and other internet influence, because they can destroy it from the inside out by causing chaos, disruption, division within our own exactly. country. And it, it, they look none the, they, they can be like, we, what do you mean? You know, like so. Yeah. But, well, so it, it it just recently has come out is that uh, that an indictment was filed Wednesday that alleges that me a media company linked to six conservative influencers, including uh, well-known personalities Tim Pool, Dave Rubin, and Benny Johnson. I, I have not heard of it. I've heard of Tim Pool before. Any of those are. I know who Tim Pool is, and he's like a, a conservative guy. But uh, either way, they were secretly funded by a Russian state media employers that churn out English language videos that were often consistent with the Kremlin's interests, amplifying U.S. domestic divisions in order to weaken U.S. opposition uh, to the Russians' entrance or to the Russian interests, like its war in uh, Ukraine. Uh, in addition to the marketing, uh, there was uh, there was uh, them interfering with the presidential election. The authorities has unveiled politically charged details about Russians' attempted interference, and an indictment, and and says that uh, Moscow may be attempting to capitalize on the skyrocketing popularity in the right wing podcasters. So they were using these guys who mm -hmm. were popular in the right wing, and this is like. I don't, I've never really understood the Russian sentiment. Like, I mean, the country has a history of going to war with Russia. I never really understood why anybody would have any sentiment to somebody who's obviously we've had so many problems with in the past. Wait, what? You're, you don't know why anyone would be supportive of Russia is basically what you're saying? From America, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, it's, I mean, well, what they do is I think they fuel our right-wing beliefs. So, like, they, they push right-wing beliefs into American culture so then people get more, so they create a bigger echo chamber for that so, and then turn, put left versus right, yada, yada, okay, division. So division. So I hit you with a little Sun Tzu Art of War here, and uh, if they're exploiting that portion of American culture, right? doesn't that not infer that that is a weak point in American culture? Oh, yeah. Culture? I mean, I, I will never say that the... I think that using people's ignorance against them is the easiest way to win a conflict so if i'm fighting with somebody and i see that they're limping i'm going to go for that leg if i see that they're they're left they're right-handed you go for you go for a punch on the left side you always exploit the weaknesses of your opponent if they are utilizing these individuals with these set of a truncated mindsets as the people that they are attacking that is problematic that's not to say that this is their only way of attacking, but we have to realize is that individuals with this mindset <laughs> have an issue. You have already, you've been brainwashed into thinking that the people who this country fought against are the allies. Yeah. And, I, and I understand is like, we're giving a lot of money to the Ukraine. I don't necessarily know a lot about politics. Yeah. But be it as it may, just because I don't agree 
with the home team does not mean I'm going to root for our rival. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, I... I'm going to throw out a hot take here. I feel they're doing just as much propaganda to the left. It just hasn't been found out. I And that's what I'm saying is that I'm not like, I do, I'm not saying this is the only venue of attack, but it's something that we have to, I think it's a magnifying glass on it right now. I think they're trying to stir discontent on both sides because yeah. if you ruffle the feathers on both sides with extreme views. You're yeah. going to get people to agree to them. Then they're going to get more brainwashed. Then they're going to get more extreme with that's it. Then true. they're going to be like, I'm right. You're wrong. Let's fight. Like, hopefully, you know, like, I mean, it would, if, if Russia, if, if I'm thinking about what Russia's goal is, it's to create a civil war in America. Yeah. Because why fight us when we can make our fight ourselves? Here's the real question, man, is like, uh, what's the guy's name? It was, uh, Dave Crockett. No, <laughs> I was listening to him. I asked you if you knew about him. His name was like Dave Cook or something. Dave, Dave Smith. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, anyway. I, thought, I thought we were talking about Chad Smith, the was, drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching a, a podcast with Dave Smith on it, and he said something interesting. It was like, it's funny how people in America think is that all the other countries have corrupt governments, but ours isn't. So I truly wonder what influences we're putting into Russian. Oh my God! Look, look what we did to Iraq. Look what we did to everywhere. We push democracy on countries that don't have democracy because we say we go. Our way is the best way. Take our way. And we go in there and we take their government out and put our style of government in. And people think that that's not bad. Exactly. I mean, like, yes, democracy has a lot of benefit and whatever. But you're going in and completely wiping out a country's government and putting your own government in. That's literally taking it over. Hey. And you, you don't think the people that are in the office are friendly to America now? That's what, look, good points. Very good I mean, points. It's it's all conjecture. I don't know, right? Absolutely. There's a there's a there's a theory called the dead internet theory. Um, that, oh, that's so true. You know about this? Yeah. So it's the idea of where everything that you interact with on the internet is just a, a AI bot, and there there's these are not real interactions with people. Um, there are certainly some real people on the internet, but most of the comments, most of the, like, oh yeah, the, like Reddit, the comments, like articles, it's just, it's not real people. Well, it's really funny because it's funny you say that. I mean, you find proof of it all the time, but one really big example is like financial news mm -hmm. because like, it'll be, there'll be, um, you'll go like, it'll be like, say it'll be, you click like a, say you go like Microsoft stock and you click on like a, a financial news website. It will like, it'll just read like. Da 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 da. This quarter sale. Da da da. This percent up. Da stock price. Da. And then you find like that same same exact article on fifty sites. And then you find that exact same thing about every other stock. Then you find ones where like the the bot effed up and like it, it'll be like stock X instead of the stock symbol, or it'll be like prices up. 370,000%. Like, it's just because they're just using algorithms to fill in the info. And mm. sometimes it gets jacked up. Sometimes it doesn't fill out. Sometimes it doesn't mm. make sense. But it's just like cookie cutter, like blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, blah, like, when it comes to, like, the, the articles that you can click on, definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We, I've seen, definitely seen uh, articles where I'll go to look up for a, a recipe or something. It's AI. I'm like, this is a, this doesn't even make sense. You're telling well, right. a story. This doesn't make or sense. Or you'll find the same news really story word for word on, like, 60 different what news websites so remember we watched that one video where everybody was saying the exact same thing on every news yeah, site yeah, exactly so this is that feeds into the whole dead internet thing it's yeah. the idea of that the american government is controlling everything similar to what they're doing in china where their internet is so gated off from the yeah. rest of people and they only have like certain hours you can be on or whatever it's that same idea except obviously way darker way darker is that you're not having real experiences with people out there obviously if you're talking to a certain person you are right 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 like twitter they're all owned they're all american products man so they're here twitter facebook and then when you think about one like tiktok that isn't american owned of course you're going to push them out because you can't control the interactions on there right right right, right. exactly well i mean you can tell I mean, there's a ton of videos that I find online, even like ads that come through on stuff. And it'll be like, are you a big guy and want to work out these seven exercises every day? Well, body weight exercises to get a lean abs in two weeks, you'll notice a difference. And it's like a computer voice in it. And you can tell it's English, but like 
it's not exactly right. It's like when you talk to someone, you know, English isn't their first language just because like the grammar's off just a little bit because English grammar is hard to learn. Mm -hmm. And like, and then, yeah. And it's like, and you can tell it's a computer voice and it's in like, it's just add. And it's just like, yeah, it's like, are you tired of computer not working? Right. We have fix for you. And it's like, bro, this is obviously fake as AI or from an, some Russian propaganda yeah. machine yeah, or that, whatever. You know, India is attacking us in a different way. You know, I kind of respect their hustle. At least they're just trying to get our money. <laughs> Russia's <laughs> trying to like destroy the <laughs> India is like the India. Yeah, the 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 people who I dude. Well, I'm gonna go off in a second, but like I swear to God, like and this and this was like ten years ago when I first moved to Austin. A guy called my, a guy called my phone. He had an Indian accent, and he was like, "I'm calling from Microsoft." Mm -hmm. And I can't remember exactly what he said, but he was like, I need you to log into Windows because you are you're ha you have a security concern. Yeah. And, I'm like, and I'm like, you want me to log into Windows? He's like, yeah, you need to get, there's a security concern on your computer. I need you to log into Windows. Oh and I was like, God. what the, what are you talking about? And he was like, sir, this is important. Just I would have messed, done it. I would have messed like, with well, him. I mean, I tried to mess with him a little bit and he hung up because he knew I was messing with him. But like, I would have loaded up any desk right there. And <laughs> <laughs> right hmm. so anyways you got anything else on that before we go uh, uh don't believe anything that you see and half of what you don't please vet your news <laughs> man just please vet your news There's, it's hard to win it's all quit, controlled quit arguing with bots on the internet and getting all worked up so anyways that's all time we have for uh, today's episode go to the crazy for jonas tnt uh we're out